Regardless if it is a war zone or not a war zone, water is one of the most important things in life. If you don't have water on a certain moment, you will start feeling physical uh, problems. Sicknesses will arrive because they are finding water on different sources, not clean water, water which is polluted, and they will start getting sick. My name is Tamo van Gastel. I'm a water and habitat engineer with the ICRC, the International Committee of the Red Cross. At the moment, uh, we are in Aleppo city. The main challenges in Aleppo is actually uh, water um, availability. Throughout Aleppo city, um, it's being served by actually two main pumping stations. These pumping stations, they are um, being powered by, um, of course, electricity. Um, however, due to um, different reasons, um, different parties in the conflict, water is cut, sometimes the electricity is cut, and um, that gives a large suffering to all the people of Aleppo city, actually. And because it is so difficult to get water, in these areas. We as ICRC, we try to facilitate as much as possible this availability. The network of boreholes which we have created in Aleppo city is also a contingency plan to when um, the pumping stations are not working. We have actually installed different taps so that the water is readily available for the people, as well as truck loading points where um, different water tanks can come around, get water and distribute them over the other areas which are not reachable with a borehole. We have different approaches to um, assisting displaced people. We are here at this collective shelter and these are all skeleton buildings. And as you can see, um, we have implemented the covers between the open areas in these buildings so that in the Aleppo temperatures, which are high in summer, and low in winter, they are better protected from it. They have water available and that sanitation facilities are available. We support bakeries so that people also can have fresh bread in the morning. As well as that, we support collective kitchens who are cooking meals for all different people within the city. And in addition to that, we support hospitals, for example, dialysis centers in the supply of generators and the different equipments needed. Whatever we do within Aleppo city or within the rural, rural areas of Aleppo governorate, we are doing this together with the Syrian Arab Red Crescent. In that way, we try to um, reach as many of the, uh, the population which we can.